It was a good basketball game. You know, credit to them. They played really well. I thought we did too. Make a free throw at the end, you're, you're going home with the win probably. So it could go either way. Questions? Kevin, you all had a ton of threes in the first two games. Um, what were they able to do to kind of take all, you know, take away some options and, and to hold you to a low percentage? Um, we, we don't go into the game talking about shooting a number of threes or making a number of threes. We just, we just play. Um, you know, I mean, I can tell you early on, it felt like Decor was at the rim on every play. So probably it was what was what was available based on the way they were guarding us. Um, you know, we knew we were going to get some hard hedging. So we got some hard hedging, then we got some sw some switching. And uh, I thought our guys did a pretty good job. Uh, we didn't rely on the three tonight, you know. Uh, maybe that was because they weren't going in, but I, I don't I don't think I discouraged anybody from shooting any of them, um, you know. The, you know, we, we don't we don't think about it that way. So, what can you take from a game like this in a hostile environment on the road um, as you're kind of building this group together? I mean, I think games like this, and to be honest, our coastal game are you know kind of what we need to figure out who we are. Uh, we got a lot of guys in different spots, um, different roles. Um, you know, so it's so it's unfamiliar in a lot of ways to, to some of them to you know make decisions and have to make reads and make plays and execute and all that kind of stuff. And so it's a it's a constant growing process. I'd say you know to coming out of here and having won the rebounding, I think is a big big thing for us. Um, you know, this, that's a physical team, very good rebounding team. You know, they've always been physical and rebounded well against us, and so that's a really good thing to build on. Um, you know, and we just got a, lot, a chance to see a lot of different um, different things show up. Um, I don't know how many times they had to inbound the ball at the end that we kept them from doing it. Well, we have barely worked on that. So that's something to build on, you know. Um, you know, I was hoping for maybe three or four more monitor reviews to give me a couple more timeouts and, you know, maybe the elbow. That would have helped. But um, But that stuff really helps you learn, figure out who you are and, and who's going to do what and all that kind of stuff. Now we have some you know, film to go back and look at and, and try to figure out how we can clean some things up. Uh, Whitfield struggled in regulation but was really strong in overtime. Surprising that he was that resilient? Um, nah, he's just a baller. You know, he just he doesn't, he doesn't get affected by a whole lot. You know, so no, I'm not surprised. I mean, and because he's got you know, got some guts and stuff like that. I, I, you know, you can rely on him a little bit because you know that, you know, he'll take the next big shot or he'll make the next big drive or, or what have you. So, coach, I know you guys going into the season lost arguably one of the best scores in college basketball over the last few years. We did. So, <laughs> with that said, is it a little more difficult going into late game situations like that, not having that guy that you know wants to and can take that shot? Is it a little tougher trying to kind of figure out who's going to be that guy now going forward? Yeah, I mean, the guy's, you know, he'll be playing against the Clippers tomorrow night. So it's always nice to have a guy like that on your team. Um, yes, we're definitely, you know, there is there is a degree of <clears throat> trying to figure out who, who we're going to be and how where it's going to come from, um, especially in those need a shot kind of situations, right? I mean, um, I think in a lot of ways, it, in other aspects of late game, we, we, we might be able to become better quickly, you know, with uh, defensive stuff and, and, and different things. But as far as just like, go get us one, we had that guy and now we got a bunch of guys that are trying to, you know, we, got, we have to figure out how to put them in good positions and who's going to be it. And it, it might be a little bit by committee it might, and it might be a little bit where, you know, not like play the hot hand, but like Jacor was playing really well tonight, you know, and we're able to get in the pain a lot. So maybe, you know, some of that stuff late, we were trying to get him driving to the basket. Um, so yes, we'll be, we'll be constantly evolving with that stuff, for sure. You were able to slow them down a little bit with their pressure. They obviously want to get out and, and run, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, it took them a while to get into their offense. Was that the tempo that you would like night in and night out to be able to control tempo in that way? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we did that all of last year. Um, when we had, we made a couple adjustments throughout the game with regard to the press, but 
Um, I think we pressed uh, third most in the country last year. Um, UNCG was two. I forget who was one, but uh, we do that every game. Um, and then we have different looks that happen within it. If you weren't really paying attention, you might not even notice that, that there were probably, besides the stuff at the end, there was probably three different looks that we that we used within the press. Um, but it's uh, it definitely helps control tempo, um, and they and they really like to race it up. So we 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 do that, and we thought that would be helpful in this game, and it was.